Understanding risk starts with your outlook. So that's data-based. You have to have a market outlook. But you also have to look at that outlook in terms of customer budgets, customer risk tolerance. Hello, welcome to our new interactive master file. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate main features of it. First, you can change page either by clicking next or previous page icons, or you can open the name list by clicking in the middle of the page icon and select the name of the page. You can also change commodities from this commodity list. You can change topic and all visualizations will update it. You can also make this chart full screen by clicking the focus mode here and chart will become full screen. The next page that I will show you is balance sheets main crops. In this page you will find balance sheets. You can change commodities and you can change countries. You can also add or remove sources or you can change unit types, for example, from metric tons to bushels. You can add more history and table will adjust it. By default, we have two waterfalls that shows change in the world ending stocks. The one on the left shows compares 2017 with 2016 and the one on the right compares current versus previous support for 2017. Again, this two water sh waterfall chart shows ending stocks, but you can change it by simply clicking the name of the attribute. You can do it for production, for example, and waterfall charts will adjust. From this page, more importantly, you can go to our country or commodity summer page. Now, because we have Soybeans here, you can simply click, right click in this page, go to drill through and select commodity summary. And as you can see, we have oil seed uh, soybean summary for 2017. You can again change unit types from here. But more importantly, we can list um, change in current report versus previous report and you can visualize it in the map. You can do it for other attributes as well. And all the tables will adjust it. You can change, you can make another commodity summary by simply going back and changing the commodity name. You can also do a country uh, summary. Again, right click, drill through and country summary where you will find uh, country summaries because we had China in our balance sheet we land in um, China summary page where you can find uh, macroeconomic variables and uh, main commodity summary its values and rank in the world we also have a line chart that uh, visualize the attributes you selected you can change unit type and remove or add more history the next page that I will show you is monthly balance sheet where you can find the month, all monthly values, was the values that is published. You can change the commodity and country and unit type from here as well. The next page that I will show you is monthly exports where you can find uh, top 10 destinations for the selected commodities for USA, Brazil and Argentina. Right now we show soybeans top 10 destinations but you can change commodity and all the tables will adjust. You can also highlight countries and you can see its share. The last page that I will show you is help and definitions page where you can find definitions for, for example, major exporters for corn or cotton and you will list, you can see the list of the countries here. You can also find crop year definitions from this table and change the commodities from the comment list. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and please do not hesitate to send us if you have any question. Thank you.